In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up ConvertKit on your WordPress website using their WordPress plugin. This is essential if you want to host landing pages on your WordPress uh, website, uh, but also just makes life a lot easier when you're using ConvertKit on your website. So the idea is I'm logged into this test website here, and I'm also logged into my ConvertKit account. This is the test account that I use, and uh, I'm basically ready to get the plugin installed and go from there. So obviously the first thing I wanna do is go down to my plugins and click add new to start searching for the ConvertKit plugin. I type up ConvertKit at the top, all one word. And then I install the plugin and then activate it. Now the plugin's been activated, I can actually go into my settings, under the left here to settings and ConvertKit to get started. Now, once I'm on my ConvertKit settings page, you'll see there's a few things we need to set up. Nothing is linked up, so we have no options because we need to get our API key and our secret key. So I'm just gonna click on this link, and since I'm logged in to ConvertKit, I'll be able to just go down here and copy my API key, paste it in there, tab back over, show my secret key, copy that, and paste that in there. And now I'm just gonna hit enter, or you can scroll down and hit uh, save, I believe. And now you can see our keys are there and we have these drop down pages that we can use. So if I just scroll down a bit, you can see here the default form on pages, the default form for posts, and the default form for products since we are using WooCommerce. I can actually, I've got multiple forms on my page. These are just two landing forms I have. Uh, not landing forms, uh, standard forms. They could be modals, it could be anything like that. I can choose one for pages, one for forms, uh, for posts, sorry, and one for products. And that way, whatever they land on, whether it's page or a post, the default form will be whatever form I choose here. So that's a pretty powerful uh, tip. And like I said before, if you didn't hit enter up here, you can just save changes down there. So I'm gonna save these changes. And now we'll open up a page and see how that looks. And this is a simple blog post. If I scroll down, it's automatically placed that form just in the at the bottom of the page there, which is pretty nifty. Now the cool thing is, if I go in and edit this post and scroll right to the bottom, there's a little convert kit area here. If I have tags set up, I can actually set up so people uh, who visit this page end up getting tagged. But uh, you can also see where I can change my form quite easily. So I can choose which form goes on the page. If you have a full landing page, you can also set that up as well. But uh, I can change that form at the bottom of the page or I can even add in between information. So if I go down to here and click enter and type in plus, you see I've got a convert kit form here or I can just simply type convert. I can add a convert kit form into the editor and then choose it from over here. So the first form, I click update. And because I'm logged in on this browser, all we get is a black bar. So I'll switch back to Chrome and I'll scroll up and refresh the page. You can see the form is now here as well as down the bottom. So that is how you can get things set up in WordPress and insert things into your pages pretty easily. Now, another cool thing is if you have uh, only, for, this only seems to work for pages in my experience. It could be, I could be wrong, but uh, if I've got a page here like this about us page is I can actually convert that page into one of my ConvertKit landing pages. So in ConvertKit, I have this landing page here that I wanna use. Uh, it's not particularly well designed. It's just something I've thrown together for the video called test landing page. So if I just tab over to my about page, now if you ignore the shadow at the top there, uh, if I scroll right down the bottom again, you'll notice we have our forms, but we also have this landing page section. So I can choose test landing page and then update this page. The page has now been updated, so if I switch back over, I've got our about page, I'm going to refresh. And now we have our ConvertKit landing page instead. So this means if you have pages in your navigation that you wanna to send to ConvertKit landing pages, you can also set that up pretty easily. So that's pretty much it for today. That's uh, just the basics of that WordPress plugin. It does make life very easy when you're using ConvertKit. So um, I hope you found that video useful. And just remember, we've got a whole bunch of ConvertKit videos in a playlist in the description below. So check those out. Otherwise, I uh, hope to see you again soon and have a great day.